important. In here you must sleep at night. Bed ahead. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And we are here, if I can figure out the right mode. Oops, oh, stop that. All right, so we're here out uh, by the Ocean Monument and let's go take a look. Hi, Squiddy Squiddies. So the Ocean Monument is uh, defeated. We got rid of the Elder Guardians. Um, one fascinating thing is we there's a few boats floating above the top of the uh, of the monument and uh, guardians tend to uh, to jump in them which is a little bit funny um, there's there's some guardians right there oh they're not oh let's see if I can break them because um, they're it's a little annoying oops shoot there we go there's one there's two ouch there's three okay good boats are gone Just don't do that don't do that ow 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 oh nice he didn't get me so I've got ow oh uh, all right oh that hurt man so welcome back to the ocean monument um plop yeah so this is uh i started clearing out walls and sort of emptying out the space down here i set up a brewing stand uh it was it was an interesting challenge going through and clearing out all the the water out of all this it's part oh they're coming from up there and uh, I was hoping to find a second sponge room. Unfortunately, there is not. And yeah, so I don't, uh, not much more to do in here. One nice thing about the this particular ocean monument is that uh, there's not a whole lot of ocean beneath us, uh, which is great. Uh, so if I dig down and, you know, I'm, uh, there's a, uh, Whereas last season, the monument that I turned into the Guardian Farm was one side of it was in pretty deep ocean, and this side is this one is not. So, so anyway, uh, that's that. There's not much going on here. It's pretty empty. I've kind of dug out all the areas, and I think I've cleared out all the insides. And the one sponge room is the only one that I found. So, but that's okay. There's like 10 other <laughs> guardian farms that we found uh, in and four of them, four others right in this area. So we've got plenty of uh, opportunity to find more sponges. So anyway, just wanted to show you this. Uh, this will be a somewhat long-term project probably because it's a ton of work, but uh, I... I tore out all the sea lanterns from here and wait where am I I can't be lost oh yeah that's what pop uh, I tore out all the sea lanterns from inside here so I have about a stack and a half uh, Vex FX wants some so I'm gonna I'm gonna share the that booty with him but uh, once we get the guardian farm up and running we'll of course have more sea lanterns than we know what to do with Cool. So, uh, one other thing to show you. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. So here we are in uh, spectator mode, and you can see here just what I mean. The uh, there's not a whole lot of space beneath uh, the the ocean monument. The entrance it's the deepest right here at the entrance. Everything else is pretty flat, so it's going to be quite a bit easier to clear out the water, I think, than it was last time. So anyway, just wanted to show you that. Uh, one more thing, I'll be right back. 
important. In here you must sleep at night. Bed ahead. Hi. So, yeah. So, um, last time we talked, the village was a little dormant, but uh, things are a little bit different now. I've got villagers going on. Look at that. I've got a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, so I made some changes. Let me show you what I did. Um, oh, poised potato. Ah, thank you. So, uh, yeah. So, hi. I've got Mr. Smith hiding out up there. Um, he's there for a good reason. And, uh, notice I've got plenty of villagers, including nitwits. I've got, like, two nitwits here. More potatoes. And the, the, all the guys... I got farmers and I've got uh, Mr. Fletcher here and they're all farming. They're all doing what they're supposed to. Uh, and what happened before was oh, they're throwing potatoes at each other. This is just beautiful. So, oh, hi, how are you? Uh, so a village I, I've been I've been doing a lot of research about villages. A village has a has a center of course and it's the physical the geographic center of all the doors so I was hoping that the center would be about here um, and it turned out in general it was and but what and then the village has a radius so from that center out any any villagers inside that radius inside that circle will and it's not a sphere some of the wiki suggests that it's a sphere. It actually is more like a uh, like a disc. It extends out a certain distance, in this case, 32 blocks. And that was coming out to four or five. It was coming out to about here, somewhere around here. So I had 12 of these villagers were part of the village, technically. And then the two villagers that I moved into the village with them, I had 14 villagers. And with these number of doors, and it's roughly three doors per villager, right? Three houses per villager. So with, there's 14 doors on each side here. That meant the breeding, uh, my population cap on the village was 14 villagers. Meaning the villagers that I put in here had zero incentive to breed whatsoever. So, uh, I decided to put in more doors, and you can see there's another set back here. Whoop. And by putting it in here on this side, it dragged the center of the village over a couple blocks. Now the center of the village is now, I think, right here. And as a result, two fewer villagers over there are part of the village population, so only 10 of them are, and the extra doors uh, raised the population cap up to 19, which is exactly where I wanted it. Uh, 19, so that I get some villagers in here breeding, but it's less than 20, which is the threshold at which zombie sieges can happen. And I don't want any zombie sieges happening. So, so exactly 14 times four doors is exactly the right number by putting the second, the, the fourth set of doors over on this side, pulled the uh, pulled the center of the village just enough over this way that it all kind of worked out. So, what is Mr. Smith doing up here? Well, what I found was when the two villagers were at night, they would run over here. Um, and what I found was that the number of houses in the village would drop. And how did I find that out? Well, I installed a server plugin. Um, it's called Village Info, and it shows you. Uh, so you can see here, now there's 56 houses, which is the four sets of doors. I've got 19 villagers. My population cap is 19. I have one golem. I can only have one golem. And the the reputation is the one bit that I'm still trying to figure out. That seems to reset every time this, the village loads. Uh, so if I trade with any of these guys or any of the guys out here that contribute to the village, then the reputation will go up if they get the little you know uh, particle effects where they where they unlock so that um 
and the the reputation appears to be a number between minus 15 and 10 so 10 is the highest it can go and if it gets below zero then the iron golem might decide to attack you so in general you should trade with your villagers um the other nice thing about this is it does show you the center of the village so here the center is uh, minus 328 minus 157 which should be right here um 328 150 yeah so the center of the village is right here which is good because it pulled it over and and so now i have my 19 villagers and they're not going to breed past 20 um so i won't get in trouble with the zombies which is great um, but what I found was at night when Mr. Smith and Mr. Fletcher would go hide off over in the doors over here, the number of houses would drop and I wanted it to be static so I could sort of manage it. So when I put Mr. Smith up here, he's keeping all the doors active. So it's a static, it's a steady number of doors. Um, without that, if the number of houses drops, then the villagers might go out of breeding mode even if they were otherwise inclined to do so and needed to uh, breed more to hit the population cap so anyway they've been doing pretty good uh and i have oh and you may have noticed i may have i don't know if i pointed it out i had a little crusher set up over here with a piston to push a block down into a villager so that I could I could dispose of them without actually hurting them myself uh, but when that happens within the the within a certain distance of the village the um, oh hey Barb just joined yay uh, when that happens within a certain distance of the village the villagers will just stop breeding They'll just be like, oh, we're not going to breed. And, it'll, and they stop for like three minutes. And so it's not the worst thing in the world, but I didn't want that to get in the way of everything. So I put in this line all the way over to the other side there, and I moved the crusher over there. So they don't notice it happening, and they don't get upset, and they don't stop breeding. So, yeah. Um, oh, I got one of the boats from the squiddies. So anyway... Um, so part of why I wanted to do this was to try and upgrade a couple of the villagers. And I got an upgrade on the farmer. Um, it's actually a fairly substantial upgrade. The farmer is here. Hi. He has a cheap price on the watermelons. He only wants eight watermelons for a diamond. Which is great. Um, and so this, the score of the guy that I had before was below six. And now it's over 6.7, which is great. How are you? Uh, and then, so I actually replanted one of the sections over here, pumpkins, with uh, watermelons, because now the watermelons are worth more. But the other thing, of course, I wanted was cartographer. And this guy actually turns out has pretty cheap trades. And he has for both the ocean explorer map and the wooden land explorer map. And, uh... So now, so I bought one. Now, I don't know how these entirely work. Obviously, I've seen the videos of them. But there is... Okay, so it's south southeast of here. And I don't know how far. Uh, so I'm going to have to go exploring for that. That is going to have to be another episode. But hopefully that won't be too difficult to find. Uh, and I don't know if I buy another map from him, if it'll be, if it'll point to the same, uh, Woodland Mansion, or if, or if it decides based on where you're standing or where he was, I don't know how that works. So, so I'm curious to find out and we'll have to, uh, play around with that. Oh, I guess Barb figured out how to, uh, how to chat. So my friend Barb is uh, on the server. She's Barb Make Thing makes things. She has a YouTube channel called Barb Makes Things, and she does she makes things on the YouTube channel. And she's been doing it on. A, she's been releasing weekly uh, build videos for over a year now, and they're really cool. And she's got uh, a, she's got a bunch of subscribers, a lot more than I do. Uh, but you should go check her out. Uh, she's she's really cool, and she's doing great things on there. She 
decided uh, at our crash space meeting yesterday that she wanted to maybe play on the server and she might actually make things on the server meaning she'll record them for her videos and she'll build things on the server and do do videos about them so that's cool um so i'm excited to see that so i'm going to i'm going to work here a little bit um i want to i need to clear out a few i think i'm at population cap here right yes i've got 19 villagers and these nitwits are kind of useless. They don't do squat. So, and although they have very fashionable green clothes. Yeah. And so we were talking about uh, bringing one over to the welcome center and installing them as an employee kind of to answer questions or as it turns out, perhaps not answer questions because they don't do anything. Okay, keep going. So I need to clear some of these guys out. The nitwits are an obvious choice. Hi, how are you? You're a fisherman. I don't really need you. Um, butcher, I got a leather worker here. Another nitwit, how are you? Oh, that's right, I don't have uh, another cart in my pocket. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to do a, a brief little update on that. Uh, I'll go exploring for the, for the ocean monument. And, um, I think that was all that I wanted to uh, to cover about the village. I've been learning stuff, and that uh, village info plugin seemed interesting enough, so I tested it on my test server. Hi, I'm sorry about this. Um, it seemed interesting enough, so I put it on a test server to make sure it would work with with. Uh, it requires the bucket uh, craft bucket server, and I. I check to make sure that it was working with 1.11 i don't have whoops i don't have any other plugins installed um, but i might install a couple things uh i'm still getting up to speed and learning about plugins um my nephew star oh hey guys go go for it you're in breeding mode too they get a little creepy running around stalking each other with the hearts and the, the this and the that um so my nephew startech wanted to get a server and he wanted some plugins so i've been helping him figure out how all that works so it's uh it's been an education i've been learning and it's it's pretty cool and uh, I like the fact that you can go you don't have to go all crazy with the plugins and and have oops 10 billion things going on in the server as and play and make your server like a modded server um, you can do some stuff that just help administer like permissions plugins things like that so anyway so now we are we're oh oh another little baby white coat could be a villager could be a librarian could be a cartographer we will find out uh so yeah so that's cool so these guys are doing pretty good they're breeding up a storm that's what we want and we want to be able to control it so everything's safe i don't have to worry too much about it getting dark while i'm still in here because it's kind of difficult to keep track of time because there's no windows down here so anyway that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, and maybe we'll go see if we can find that Woodland Mansion. That would be kind of cool. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.